Well, good morning, everybody. My name is William Dunn. We're going to be having a little different kind of approach today. We're going to do a still life setup right next to me. This is not a photograph. I'm going to be working directly painting these beets. So the stems here and the stalk of the plant is long and narrow and they're overlapping each other. So just basic logic tells me to do this one first and do all these under it. So I like this curve and shape. So I'm going to keep that. So that's going to go up something like this. There's several So the beets are going to be primarily the darkest darks. This one's fairly light. And because these are all pretty much warm colors, except for the green and the leaf, I'll probably put in some kind of a blue background. There's something very special about painting and putting down a color and having it look good when you're all through. Now this one doesn't have the stem. I think it broke off, so I'm just going to manufacture one here. This way, this way. I think it would fill up this space quite nicely, so let's just practice. I'm going to be kind of careful and leave my highlight intact. I guess you could say I'm saving my white. Immediately you get a feeling here. If you guys have been to art school you probably have heard the term core shadow and things like that. Well they're valuable. Here's a place where I can put it in. There's a shadow around the back side here, the underside, which I'll gradually put in. This is called buff titanium. Daniel Smith. I bought it to do beach scenes. It's kind of like a sand color. Sand, I usually do yellow ochre and pink and burnt sand and other colors. But this one might work well. For this guy. Yeah. I have to remember to add so a little bit of color. That'll be my highlight area. That's going to fade into green. I think we're ready to go into the greenery. I like this. It looks pretty good against the white. That really wouldn't be a problem. But I'm still going to put in the background last. And I'm going to work on the rest of this now. So I need a bigger brush. And I'm going to use this Escoda. Wonderful brushes. I have three of them. And I think wet on dry is going to win for the moment. So those are kind of a medium dark green. And... You know, if you see me dipping into the paint, you don't always have to go to the palette. When you get a little confidence, you can just go right on, right on here, and it'll do what it has to do. 